Now, what I have found is, this is my personal uh, opinion, but uh, ISR physics is comparatively tougher than ISR mathematics. Some questions, 5 to 6, will be very straightforward. You can consider them CT like questions. But uh, majority of them will require slight thinking at least. Okay, here are some illustrations for that. Look at this uh, mixed concept problem. Consider a solid sphere of radius r floating in a pond with half of the sphere submerged. The sphere is pushed vertically downwards at the topmost point in degree such that it executes simple harmonic motion. Acceleration is g. What is the time period of oscillation? Now this is clearly a oscillation ka hi problem. Hai. Okay, but who is providing the restoring force? आपको पहले वो क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर या उसका आंसर दें बायन फोर सर हाँ यू यस आई मीन दिस इज वन इलेस्ट्रेशन दैट आई सेड करेक्ट बिकॉज़ इट पुश्ड वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड्स एट द टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट इट सिंक्स बट इट डजन्ट वांट टू सिंक्स इट लगे इन कम बैक एंड दैट इज हाउ द मोशन विल स्टार्ट तो ऑल you should know that how buoyancy works, how Archimedes principle works and uh, this portion will give you the hints regarding the ratio of the density of the solid and density of uh, water assuming that the pond contains water. Correct? So, essay questions you expect kar sakte ho. करना है चाहिए रादर आई कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स करेक्ट सी ना व्हेन यू डू दिस क्लासिफिकेशन दिस विल गिव यू ओवरऑल आइडिया बट फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक दीज इट विल बी अनजस्ट टू पुट दिस प्रॉब्लम इन एसएचएम अग्रीड दैट इट इज मेनली एसएचएम बट इट्स स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इज समवेयर एल्स एंड देयर हैव बीन क्वेश्चंस इन बोथ आईएसआर एंड नेस्ट the where you need concepts say from dual nature and semiconductor kuch bhi matlab atoms and nuclei to bahut common hai wo okay jab hum problem solve karenge tab aap dekhenge okay dual nature atoms and nuclear all that stuff but yeah, this is one illustration what i okay illustration look at this neutral gas molecules each of mass m are at temperature t in a container at zero gravity how many or how does the average de broglie wavelength lambda of a molecule depend on temperature so it, this is definitely a problem on dual nature okay <coughs> because lambda is h by p but for finding the average de broglie wavelength of a molecule and how it varies with temperature you should first know the speed distribution and this is the average speed now for those of you who know the maxwellian distribution you know there are three speeds one is the average speed one is the rms speed and one is the most likely speed raise your hands if you remember that for the regular batch students they know this because we have we have discussed that recently very recently cool aur ye hint aapko kahan se milega gas molecules and we do have kinetic theory of gases yes okay so uh, the point is although it is mainly a question on dual nature of radiation and matter it will only take you till lambda equal to h by p or n h upon mv now how how does v vary with temperature that will decide how lambda varies with temperature okay yes now what i found in this particular exam 2024 is there was a question on ec circuits like this and there have been two questions similar to this in 
in an exam now defunct called KVPY. And to solve these questions, you need uh, something uh, from first year of BSc or BTEC uh, topics. Okay, now when I have when I solve this problem, and I've also put this on YouTube. I solve this problem using complex numbers. Okay. Now it might seem totally unrelated how complex numbers appear in an uh, EC circuit where nothing seems to be complex or nothing seems to be massive. Okay. Well, the thing is uh, the way we define uh, j squared or i squared equal to minus one, it helps us a lot in uh, solving these problems. How we shall see when we'll solve AC circuits. Okay, so these questions you can expect in your competitive exam. And now if you look at complex number as a topic in math, hmm, if you look at complex numbers as a topic in math, then yes, math will be clear. But has connections in physics. Okay. See, the use of complex numbers in solving AC circuit problems is very common in electrical engineering. And maybe in physics, if you take electricity and magnetism. But if you have to apply it here, and apply it here, then the answer is right. I mean, it comes to understand. Take some time to understand the concepts. We'll do it. Yes, now look at this mechanics problem. A jeweler is holding a gold chain of uniform mass per unit length, hanging vertically just above a weighing machine. He offers to charge the customer for half of the maximum reading of the scale after he releases the chain. What percentage more than the actual price does the customer pay if he agrees to the offer? Abhi aapko intuitively pata cha pata hai ki that chain when you drop it Okay, it has uh, some speed due to gravity and then its tip falls on the ground. Okay, its momentum becomes zero because it doesn't bounce back like a ball. Okay, so in addition to the weight of the spring, there will be some additional uh, weight recorded momentarily by the scale. But we have to model it mathematically because this is a quantitative question. What percentage more than the actual price? You obviously know it will be more, but what percentage uske liye aapko laws of motion sahi tarike se apply karna pade. Second law particularly. Okay, so aise questions agar aapne expect kiye, if you are mentally prepared for such questions, then in the exams you will be trained and uh, okay, what I want to say is you'll be ready for these. It won't come as a surprise and uh, that is a big thing according to me in the exams. If you know that at least I expect that these problems will come, you will be ready and will immediately begin to think along the lines. Okay, The awe factor will be gone if you practice such problems.